So we do have the Temperance and the Seven of Wands fighting for balance, fighting for compromise, right? Fighting for meeting the other person halfway, bringing a situation to balance. Six of Pentacles, speaking of balance, right? We want to bring it from Temperance in Reverse to the Six of Pentacles. Justice, fairness, decision, that kind of energy, right? And Temperance can also be a Sagittarius. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius there. I'm just saying, we will see. Perfect. Now let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck. <coughs> For the overall energy this week, the most important one. And we have somebody wanting back. We do have the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Strength, the Two of Cups in reverse two of pentacles i know right if you are dealing with a leo they went back right they emotionally um, disconnected from you at some point they left because they um, kind of needed a new emotional experience and now they are dropping all this and running back to you that's eight of cups you know this is discovering actually that the grass is not greener um you know on the uh, the other side of the fence like the neighbor doesn't have it, right? <laughs> kind of. Anyways, Aries, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with. Mutual energies, okay, you get three. Current energies right now on your side, the person you are dealing with, mutual energies. We do have the Empress and the World in Reverse. You might have had a family with this person. And you guys have unfinished business and they are coming back for a happy ending. Possible outcome for March on your side, the person you are dealing with, mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, five of swords. That was a conflict, right, Aries? That was a conflict. Somebody walked away because of some emotional conflict. And now they are coming back to talk about Ace of Swords. They have a new idea how to solve this conflict. Five of Swords is in reverse, right? So we need a resolution. They are coming back for a resolution of some sort. And because now they know they love you, that's the Two of Cups in reverse with the, two, with the Ace of Swords. Give me this new beginning in love. That's the energy. Um, so Aries, um, in the past we do have the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy and the High Priestess in reverse. This does speak of uh, falling out of a commitment because of secrets coming out, um, because of um, disconnection, High Priestess in reverse is somebody took action and um, you know because upright is um, in action as the best course of action, uh, might have been you, might have been the other person. With the overall energy, I do feel that that was a quick reaction. That was a fight, a conflict, five of swords. There was a walking away. There was an emotional disconnection. And this commitment actually uh, was um, cut in two, cinded. <laughs> uh, that's the energy I feel with the, um, the sword and, um, and the two of pentacles, right? Um, it's like, you know, we are fighting to keep this connection going and at some point when just one person decided, you know what, I'm not going to put my effort into it. It's uh, too much conflict for nothing. Uh, well, the uh, connection went, um, I don't want to say down in flame because the Emperor, the, uh, the Emperor, the Hierophant in reverse is not really, um, you know, um, the energy of the tower, right? Or something very explosive. But you know what? At some point, five of swords over five of swords over five of swords was, um, you know, put a kind of a string on this connection. So here is the person you are dealing with. Um, Knight of swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and the fool. Again, some quick decision. I, um, I, that is this energy of quick and that is this energy of over layer of uh, conflict that you both of you try to but again on their side knight of swords right the connection the cord was cut that's a knight of swords the very warrior kind of energy and then that was the full maybe kind of an impulsive decision of you know what i'm starting new i'm done 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 here and i'm rushing in the opposite direction and um yeah 
with a childlike energy. It's like free at last kind of energy, but I feel the, the decision was on your side. But again, uh, right, you swap the energies. Now mutual energies between you and this person. We do have the moon, so we have secrets here. We have emotions, hidden emotions that were not really exposed. Um, the moon is not telling the truth, right? That um, in, in terms of energies, it's really hiding the truth. Two of Wands, right? Dreaming and longing for a new path. So that was this connection maybe that got into a routine. We started to get into fights. Um, wanting to break free in the same time wanting to break the stillness in it and the and it was stable it was actually the hierophant speaks of a very stable connection right but then uh, this connection and routine got in the way and um, and longing for something else and unexpressed emotions and this stagnant energy eight of wands we were no longer observing the spring, you know, because we, Eight of Wands is the energy of spring, is an energy of blossoming, and everything is all blossoms. That's the ones, right? Um, and the passion, and, um, you know, the sexy messages, and all the uh, the attraction, the passion in, in everyday life, and probably both of you got in that form of a routine, and then um, a disconnection happened. Love was still on the table, but the disconnection took over in some way. And um, handling this was a little bit tough. This, this is what I'm picking up. Well, energies right now, we do have the King of Cups in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. We might be going through some um, emotional turmoil. King of Cups in reverse is really emotionally drained. Um, maybe a little bit sad because that was a rejection of some sort five of pentacles so falling out of this commitment maybe they, they maybe they walked away right with the knight of swords in the fall somebody said you know what let me have this new chapter i'm ready for something new and now we are coping with a little bit of um the aftermath of it right uh, we know cups in reverse might be a little bit about tears emotions wanting and longing and missing and Sometimes out of control emotions is like, you know, uh, being too much or having too much. Now, the person you are dealing with, um, Devil in Reverse and the Ace of Cups in Reverse. So they have, they um, handle a battle of their own um, in regards to toxicity, addictions, um, you know, very tough energy around them negative uh, relationships and um, ace of cups in reverse so kind of for some of you i feel that somebody ans uh, asked the question um do they still love me right and the answer to this because it has nothing to do with uh, the energy but the answer to it is like yeah love is on the table but when they will be able to disconnect from whatever keeps them in chains and addicted and dependent or codependent to something okay they are not in a good spot of course can be a capricorn and yes that is love on the table ace of cups is here but in terms of are they willing to give um you know to make an offer right now i would say no because they are fighting um toxicity bad relationships um addictions and all that mutual energy is between the two of you we do have the justice libra energy and the five of cups in reverse um i do love the five of cups in reverse because emotionally we are gaining strength emotionally of course is an energy of missing each other but in the same time we still can uh, walk the earth right we still uh, can accomplish things you know the judgment is not um, clouded and and we acknowledge emotions we know they are part of us we acknowledge missing the other person but then we go by by our day you know and we are able to accomplish things uh, for some of you, go to work. For some of you, you know, um, um, be in control of whatever you feel and however you feel. So it's a it's a good energy. What I'm a little bit concerned is the um, justice in reverse, right? Because we might be out of balance and actually the energy is here to remind us that, you know, we need to do some extra work um, to make sure we um, we stay in balance emotionally, intellectually, or whatever in whatever endeavor you have to you know you have every day. So 
Um, and both of you, whatever, whoever left, I feel it's on their side and you feel more rejected a little bit. And it's like, you know, why in the world they did that? We had something good. Both of you, you are out of balance here. Both of you. Um, you are because of rejection. They are because of this personal fight of their own with the devil. Okay. Um, and it, on their side, there is this energy of a warrior kind of mode and um, freedom uh, at all costs kind of energy. So, but in the same time, it makes sense because if they're fighting addictions and stuff, somebody here is um, needs to make radical decisions. And I feel that this is actually their case, right? Of radical decisions. And it started in the past. So I'm just saying. Now moving forward on your side, Aries, uh, we do have uh, the lovers, Gemini energy, and we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, we love the person, but we stay put, right? Uh, the lovers is um, a soulmate bond, emotions, wanting to be together, um, decisions, um, you know, heart overhead decision. I feel in your case is head over heart decisions because it comes with the ace of pentacles in reverse, right? One thing a new beginning and yet um, staying for a while um, in observation, I would say. Um, making sure we understand why and how and what they are going through. Now the point is they are coming back because we have eight of cups with the ace of swords. Um, I don't know if they come uh, back to you physically um, because Ace of Swords is more of a communication, written communication ideas, exchanges, but can very well really physically coming back to you and asking for a communication, asking to exchange information about something, telling you about um, whatever happened between the two of you and dealing with unfinished business because we do have the world as the overall energy. So that is an opportunity of discussions and, and happy endings. Um, and on your side, it's more like, okay, let me, uh, let them come to me, kind of energy. Oh, I love this, um, Aries, because they want to make peace with you. We do have the seven of, on their side, we do have the seven of pentacles in reverse. This is in, the energy of impatience, the energy of, I don't have to wait, I don't want to wait. And I want peace of mind with my Aries. We do have the six of swords. They want peace of mind for themselves. Actually, on their side, the whole reading was about um, making peace, um, cleansing, putting away toxic energies, something that kept them um, hostage of their own, I don't know, pleasures or whatever, how, however the devil, um, you know, is present in their life. And now we have the Six of Swords. So they want to make peace with you. And I say that because of the overall energy. But they want to make peace with themselves. That is a whole energy of them uh, bringing themselves into shape um, again. And I feel this is when they will be able to talk to you again. And this is when they will be able, you know, to see clearly. Because we do have energies. Ace of Swords is an energy of uh, clarity of vision and belief. And the strength, right? getting stronger, both of you actually getting stronger after what happened. Mutual energies between you and this person, we do have the hangman, uh, a lot of illumination, a lot of understanding, sacrificing and um, trying to understand things from your perspective and trying to see things um, on a broader kind of scale. And we do have the start in reverse, both being lost but both wanting to understand what happened and understand each other on a on a new level, um, you know, because Ace of Swords, I mean, there is no clearer energy than this one, the Ace of Swords. So it's, a, it's longing for understanding, but again, with the star card in reverse, both feeling lost and um, navigating through uh, kind of intense emotions, um, but from a different right? From a different angle. Um, I love their consciousness, um, Aries, on their side, uh, being, you know, being in a toxic energy and wanting to cleanse these energies and having peace of mind. I do love this energy, but I also love the evolution on your side, right? Because right now we feel rejected, we feel emotional. 
And this energy right here tells me that you make peace with the love that you have for this person and in the same time allowing them to come to you, you know? Because at the end of the day, you did nothing wrong but love them, right? And commit to them, so... I'm just saying, I love both energies. Very courageous, very strong, you know? And um, in different way or f for different reasons, but uh, a beautiful energy. In terms of zodiac signs, Aries, we do have Leo. We do have, what else? We have Empress, Leo feminine energy. We have Taurus, we have Pisces, Cancer. We have Pisces again. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, again, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius, and um, that's about it. Perfect, now let's ask for some guidance. Um, Aries, let's see what we are supposed to do with this soulmate connection, the soulmate bond. And by the way, we do have the Two of Cups, it is in reverse, and we do have the Ace of Cups in reverse, so some food for thought over there um, in my mind, but again, I, I'm, I don't want to um, bring my personal energy to this, actually. Um, but when we have love, we can work through no matter what, um, and in this case, we do have Two of Cups, Ace of Cups in reverse, so just saying. So Aries, surrender to defensiveness. This is your guidance for this connection. So defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear, non-defensive response. So for some of you, you need to hear a message here when they come back to communicate, right? Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups, when somebody comes back and they gather their strength, with the strength energy to talk to you about unfinished business, about emotional disconnection, whatever happened, that is a guidance for you. Let's hear them out. You know, allow them to say uninterruptedly, right? What they have to say. We do have surrender worry, and that's exactly what we have. King of Cups in reverse, it's about worries, right? So make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So don't worry. In divine time, everything is coming to you. And look at this. Surrender to complete healing. So they are healing, you are healing too. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional and spiritual healing. And we do have surrender denial on the bottom of the deck. So I don't know what you are in denial about, but the universe is saying, accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. So, um, I know, right there is I know. So this is what we have. Such a beautiful reading about two people healing, actually. Both healing this. Um, yeah, and they want to come back to talk to you. They want to talk to you, actually. So, Aries, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please um, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see you next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.